All right, how's everybody doing today? So today I'm going to be doing my uh, first unboxing video. Um, if you end up liking it, you know, leave a like, let me know, you know, if you want to see more. But uh, anyway, uh, my wife's mother picked this box up at an auction. Um, don't know how much she paid for it, but I'm guessing it should probably wasn't more than 20, 30 bucks. I mean, it's an auction. And, I mean, it's a decent-sized box, but it's not, you know, a large box. It's only, The box is only a small, and, of course, there's a medium and a large, but I don't even know what those boxes look like, because this is just a random box. But, anyway, um, the box is decent size, so, uh, you know, decent-sized box. But uh, it's got some good weight to it, probably about 10, 12 pounds, so it's actually quite nice. But anyway, all I know is that she picked it up at an auction and she told me that it has got NASCAR things in it. But let's see what we got in here. So we have a, uh, it's been used by somebody, but what do you expect? It's an auction. Um, still in good shape. Um, still has all the wrappings inside to protect it, but uh, it is a Jeff Gordon collectible ornament, and it's just him holding his helmet with this. Oops, sorry about the price tag there. Oh well, but uh, anyway, yeah, just a little NASCAR Jeff Gordon with a helmet. It's an ornament. So that's one item. What else do we have in here? Ooh. So this is a, uh, it's actually pretty cool. I might blow this up and hang this up from my ceiling. But uh, this is a 24 Jeff Gordon Fritos and, uh, I guess camera angles off. But, uh, oops, I got upside down. Don't wonder why. I'll do it backwards. <laughs> and then uh, Pepsi logo, Monte Carlo. It's even got the wheels. And what this is is a blow up. It's a blow up uh, car. Even at the bottom, it's got you know the designs for the for the frame and the exhaust, and it's got Fritos over top of it. Um, don't think it has any holes in it, but. I mean, it looks pretty sweet. You even got the clear windows. They, uh, yeah, see, they're clear. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's actually pretty decent sized, you know. So, I have to blow it out and hang it up from the ceiling somewhere. Put it behind me, like up here, you know. Okay, next item. Oh, these are freaking sweet. Let's check these out. So these look like a license plate, like you can put on your put on your car or your truck or whatever you have. Um, I can't do it in my state because I have to have front and back tags. But um, you got the 24 there, Hendrick Motorsports. I know it's not a genuine signature, but it's got is a you know, copied signature on it. Jeff Gordon. Uh, there's another one. It's actually pretty cool. And then there's one more. This one's actually got, um, like you can feel the imprint on it. Like there's an actual imprint. But uh, this one's actually pretty freaking sweet. So, uh, that was pretty cool. So you got three of those. I might put those there, there, and there. Oh, it looks like we have a uh, another ornament set. But this one's a set. You get one big one and one small one. And uh, if you can see here, just uh, 24 balls with a little bit of snowflakes on them. The blue. It's actually pretty cool. I'm going to hang these up on my tree this year, these ornaments and stuff. we got three so far. So, 
What else is in here? Okay. All right. So this is a uh, looks to be. Uh, I don't know if they're posty notes or just like pieces of paper to write on for your garage or whatever. It's still got the wrapper on it. But um, it's just a, you know, a little Jeff Gordon, you know, box. You got your post-it notes that say, I'm trying to get it out of reflection. Jeff Gordon, 24, you know, almost translucent so you can write on it with uh, the metal grooves as the paper background. But uh, with his signature on it, you can't see it in the light, but it's on there. It's, like, it's all still wrapped up, but I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, I don't know if I'll use them, but who knows. We've got a few more items in this box. It looks like it's just a Jeff Gordon box, but uh, we have uh, this as well. This is a... NASCAR Frosty Mug, but uh, it's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> I think I might keep it myself and use it, but uh, use it for my Mountain Dew, because I'm a Mountain Dew freak. But, um, yeah, nice little mug, little cup. I like the handle, how the handle's got, uh, you know, NASCAR with the, you know, checkered flag on either end. Pretty nice, you know. It's still wrapped up, still in the package, but uh, you know, might have to try that. It looks like one of those, like the very first, like back in the day, like the early 2000s. I think it's been, yeah, 1998 is when this was made. But um, you know, I think this is when they first started doing the uh, the double plastic on the mugs so that way the inside layer would stay colder longer than the outside layer. Um, they don't really work that well. I mean, they keep your drink a little bit cooler, but anyway, now it looks like we're getting into some pretty heavier stuff in the box, but um, I thought this was pretty sweet. Uh, the, only, the only downside is, is it's a uh, 2007 <laughs> but um, it has the officially licensed NASCAR sticker on it and it comes with a 164 die cast car uh, this is still wrapped see so you get your your die cast right in there this regular Jeff Gordon car so you got the officially licensed right there and what it is is a uh, desktop calendar and uh, the back of it, it's kind of like a stand. Uh, you get a printed signature on the plastic, officially licensed die cast car, uh, grooves to hold the die cast display, and you ha it's like a calendar that has daily facts and driver info on every page, fold out easel or ready to hang on a wall. And you can see in the back picture how it's got like a stand. And, you know, you can hang it on the wall in your office or what have you. I know it's from 2007, but, you know, who knows? Maybe a collector might want this or something. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. That's still wrapped up as well. And, uh... We have a... This is actually pretty interesting. Um... I think it's made out of ceramic or clay or something like that but it is a teddy bear a hard teddy bear it's not soft it doesn't have any like fur or anything on it but um, it's a little it's a pit guy a pit teddy bear a pit crew dude you have his hat you have the headphones 24 on them and then you also have your your radio and I think it's cool how they even put the put the little cord but it's actually in clean shape. You know, so someone has it sitting on their desk. Um, you know, it's actually quite heavy. So, 
I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I would never put it on my desk just because I don't have a desk. But um, maybe someone might want it. Who knows? Might give it away to somebody. Or if you want to, you want any of these items, you know, let me know in the comments, and I can get a hold of you and I can ship them out to you or whatever you want to do. I mean, I don't really care. Like, picking free for all I care. But anyway. This one is uh, got a bubble wrap around it, and it also has a, uh, a cardboard sleeve around it. So let's pull it out. Oh heck yeah! That thing's freaking sweet. You gotta get some batteries for it because it's not working at the moment. But once you get some batteries, it should be good to go. But it is a Dale Earnhardt. Junior number eight clock. I think it's pretty sweet. The reflection of the computer is going on the but yeah. There you are. Pretty sweet. It's got this wall mount right here on the back. You got your battery, so easy access. Uh you know you can set it. See they all still move. So you know, get you some batteries in there. It'll be all good to go. I actually might use this. I have no idea. But we have, looks like, two things left in the box. This one doesn't have a box, but I'll just add it to my collection on the shelf behind me. But uh, this is actually pretty cool. This is Jeff Gordon's foundation paint scheme. Um, uh, Santa Claus with presents and, and uh, blue and white flames. But, uh, I don't know if you can see that there, but, uh, one, two, four scale, you know, all, all the things still open, so you have, uh, you have your roof flaps that's still open, uh, this one actually has the, uh, well, I got one of the flaps open, but I don't know if you can see it, but they actually have the strings on the roof flaps. That's pretty sweet. That was a good one. Uh, your rear end opens. So it has its straps on there. Nothing's broken on it. You got the front here. You got your hood. It's get the hood. It still has its flaps on it. So that's pretty cool. You know, and then of course you know the bottom. This is one of the old style ones where they still have all the uh you know all the things the the rubber wheels there i gotta clean the wheels up give it a nice little clean but yeah they still turn but uh, anyway i think that's a pretty nice little paint scheme there so if you're trying to get it in the camera good everything's backwards when you use the camera but anyway yeah that's a pretty sweet little car i like that little jeff gordon foundation car we have that, and then the last item, I, this is actually pretty sweet because I do not have one of these. Uh, the box is still, is still sealed, and it is from 1998. It is a, uh, let me see where it's at. Well, it's one of the 50th anniversary NASCAR uh, die cast uh, made by, uh, what is this? Uh, it says Kenner, but it has the Hasbro Incorporated on it. Uh, Winter Circle, uh, this is a high performance die cast collectible. Um, this is Bobby Labonte's um, Interstate 18 uh, Small Soldiers paint scheme. I don't know if you can see in there. But you see the small soldiers in there on the hood. And, you know, it's still in immaculate shape. Like, it doesn't even have any dust on it. Like, on the inside. Like, that is a crisp, clean, never been opened. I can show you the tape. See? Tape's still on there. See, it's all still taped up. Yep, see, there's some more tape. 
like so, so whoever had this has never opened it. Um, but you know, I, I think it's pretty sweet, sweet car because it has the small soldiers logo on the hood. Like, who remembers that movie? Such a great movie. Surprised they haven't made another one. But, um, you know, you got your small soldiers logo right there on the box. But, uh, all in all, you know, nice, nice, nice piece. And, um, you know, so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Looks like we ended up with thirteen items out of that box. Now, that is freaking awesome because I can tell you what. This thing is empty. Little piece of paper in there, plastic. But um, you know, this was actually a you know a nice box. I wish there was more variety. But um, usually when you get an auction box, who you know, wherever you go. I mean, I didn't pick this one up. It was given to me. But uh, usually wherever you go, it's usually filled with a bunch of Jeff Gordon because everyone loves Jeff Gordon. But, uh, you know, you just got to hunt around. You know, I'm guessing she probably spent like maybe $10, $15, maybe $20 on that box. Um, I'm not sure, but I do know that we got some pretty decent items out of there. And uh, uh, our big winners are the, uh, the die cast, never been opened. Um, this has been opened. It has no box. But, I mean, you know, it's got some value to it. Um, especially since it's a foundation car, you'd be a lot better if it had the box still sealed, but whatever. You know, we got a couple ornaments, you know, summing up, you know, the Jeff Gordon, you know, box, the ornaments. But, uh, you know, we also had the mug, and the calendar, still wrapped, the the posty notes still wrapped. Um, you know, we had the the plates, which I thought was pretty freaking sweet. But I might use one of those. You know, and then we had the blow up car, and of course the teddy bear, Mr. Teddy Bear. But um, and then the Dale Earnhardt. Um, you know if. Anyone would like to have this, um, I might not hang it up just because I have a couple clocks already. But uh, if you really like this clock and you want to have it, you know, get a hold of me on YouTube or, you know, um, leave a comment and I can get back with you. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed my first video of unboxing this um, NASCAR box that I picked up at that uh, my wife's mother picked up at an auction. But uh, anyway, um, I had fun doing it. It was actually a lot easier to make this video just because I could be me, <laughs> you know, when I'm doing it. But um, anyway, um, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button if you like this video. Um, and then if you also would subscribe, that would be awesome too because, you know, um, I, I really enjoy your guys' feedback. I love giving you guys videos. And, you know, if you can help me out by giving me a like and subscribe, I can continually give you these videos. Um, I'm hoping that the variety I've been putting out on my YouTube channel has been, you know, satisfying what you want to watch. Um, if there's anything you want to watch, let me know and I can try to figure something out. If you like this unboxing video and you want more, I can always do that as well. But uh, just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. But um, I'll see you all next time.